We are so excited to have you on Athleisure Mag and Athleisure Kitchen. Our readers have loved you for a long time. Thank you. Chef, we know Valentine's Day is coming up. And just for date night meals yeah. in general, what should we be making so that we can always yeah. stun our significant other? Oh, cool. You know, I'm excited that you guys came today. You know, for me, um, first of all, I feel very fortunate that I've been lucky enough to partner with Pure Leaf, mm -hmm. right? Uh, Pure Leaf is always looking for great flavors and are always... Uh, looking for unique flavors that are super delicious. And I think with this collection, Pure Leaf has found something really interesting and beautiful. Hibiscus, you know, being African, you find hibiscus all over Africa and in the Caribbean, sometimes known as Sorel. So it's a beautiful flower, right? But also has that beautiful floral notes that is now becoming a big, big trend in restaurant. And what would be more fun than be able to bring some of that um, trend-setting food exactly. back home, right? Whether it's through a cocktail or through a simple appetizer. And we're going to do nice. both. Oh, exciting. So the collection has all hibiscus. They're caffeine-free. Uh, they're herbally brewed, but also all around hibiscus. And then you have a mango, a peach, and a cherry. And I poured some of the mango-flavored um, hibiscus iced tea in here with a little bit of gin. You can do it as a mocktail with no alcohol. Oh, perfect. And, and then a little bit of orange bitters, some citrus juice. We're just going to give that a shake, oh, right? Nice. Right? Put a little bit of ice, and you just give that a light shake like okay. that. And shake up the cocktail. And then we call this cocktail Valentine. We're just a fun play of, of words, right? But it has this beautiful rosé, beautiful color. Look at that, oh, how light beautiful. and bright that looks. And then we're just going to put that sprig of thyme in, right? Just a little bit of thyme to add to the floral note, right? Oh, I and love that's that. going to be for you. Oh, thank you. Just that's enjoy very nice. that. Thank you. I'll just sip this quietly. Yeah, sip that. Absolutely. And over here, you know, making a great dish, a light, bright, uh, you know, flavor forward dish um, can be simple. I'm going to start with some greens. I have a little bit of baby arugula, mm -hmm. a little bit of um, frise. Uh, I'm searing my scallops. I'm searing just three minutes on each side so they're nice and golden brown. Right? Oh, and in nice. the pan, this is a cast iron skillet. Okay. I have a little bit of olive oil, but I'm also adding in parsley. I'm adding in thyme. So those herbal notes come back out right. again. And I told you before that um, Pure Leaf has this uh, beautiful collection mm. with uh, hibiscus. And, and this one is hibiscus cherry flavored, right? So just look at that color. It's, it's gorgeous, beautiful. it's burgundy, it's light, and it has all the flavors that you want. We also took some sour dried cherries and just soaked them overnight in the, in the iced tea, which makes mm. them really nice and loose in terms of texture. And texture, this dish is based all around texture, right? Exactly. We have a scallop. Look at those scallops. They're perfectly golden brown, right? And you, when you get scallops like this, you want to have dry scallops. You want to ask for sushi quality grade I was just going to ask you that. Yes. You want always, when you buy seafood, you want to ask for sushi quality grade A. Okay. If you do that, you're going to get the best seafood. Oh, that's fantastic. And then also buy seafood from the same person because then you're building a relationship. Absolutely. And you make sure they go in the back and get the good stuff for you. I'm just going to garnish it with a little bit of, of parsley and some nuts. You don't have to have nuts if it, someone has allergies, but just for crunch, I find it delicious. And then we're just going to use some of that parsley that we seared up and just top off the dish with some of those fresh herbs, right? That's so beautiful. Yes. And, and not th that quick, or not that um, hard to make in terms no. of like the time. It's a oh, very no. quick dish. And that's the key, right? That, you know, wow. on, you know, we wanted to create a, a recipe that yes. was flavor forward. Thank you very but much. But also was easy to make. So wow, jump in. this is beautiful you and I love scallops. It's one of my favorite things. scallops with, and, and just that idea with the hibiscus, um, a cherry iced tea as a flavor component here. It's light and it's bright. Um, it's a beautiful appetizer. It is so good. Neck. You know what? And you know, <laughs> today I'm serving for free. When you come to Red exactly. Rooster, I have to charge you. This I is was much just better. That. Yes, it yeah, is. Yeah, absolutely. Well, chef, Enjoy it. When did you realize that you wanted to be a chef? Oh, I've cooked all my life. Uh, you know, my grandma. I grew up in Sweden with my uh, grandmother, and she was a cook. Right. And just to be here. Uh, you know, 30 years later, to be able to do a craft that I was taught um, in her kitchen, it's unbelievable to Absolutely. me. It's, it's not a job. It's something that I'm extremely passionate about, and I feel privileged to work with my passion and be able to, today, work in communities and create jobs and work with um, 
a lot of inner city kids, whether it's through Thicap or whether it's through our restaurant mm -hmm. um, and, and or whether it's through our festival, Harlem Meetup. And with that, you need partners like Pure Leaf to see that, see those opportunities and help me create that. So, yeah. I love that. And how do you go about deciding, because you have so many restaurants, mm -hmm. um, what the next restaurant's going to be and where it's going to be at? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, those are tough questions for me. And, and uh, I love to, first of all, the, guys, the city's going to speak to me, right? right? So, um, you know, I love, of course, New York, and but not only the city, the, the part of town. You know, we just opened in Newark, mm -hmm. you know, uh, a beautiful uh, town that has a strong African-American narrative in terms of culture and and um, music and jazz and Absolutely. so on. So that was a place where we felt, felt it was important to contribute a job and hire locally. Exactly. Uh, so we always look at the city. We opened Red Rooster in London, mm -hmm. which, you know, it's always been, uh, you know, growing up in Europe, London is your first New York, so exactly. to be able to be there, it's been a pleasure as well. So, but again, it's 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 a privilege to be able to do what I love and do it in several cities. So that Harlem will always be home, and mm -hmm. I would come soon coming up on our festival, and that's something I look forward to. What do you ex like being a co-producer of the Harlem yeah. um, Eat Up? How did that come about, and why is that so important because of the intersectionality? Yeah. Well, I've, I've I was always a, a, a guest to all these great food festivals, whether it was Miami or South Beach or whether it was Aston or New York, and I was like, wait a minute, Harlem is such an incredible rich community in terms of culture, history, and, and the chefs there deserves also to be able to tell their stories. Exactly. And the food festival has been able to tell that story. And with that, to do it, because half of Harlem Eat Up is, eat up is for free, right? and we can't do it without sponsors. To have sponsors like uh, Pure Leaf, mm -hmm. be able to, whether it's to, to help us set the table for Valentine's right. Day, um, or whether it's to help to set the table for a food festival, I really appreciate that. I love uh, that. And you know, also for your viewers and readers, if you want more recipes, you can go to pureleaf.com. Okay. Find, um, you know, so you can make Valentine's Day fun, exactly. easy, romantic Relaxing. day. Yeah. Yeah. So, Red Rooster, I'm a huge fan. Yeah. What are three signature dishes that yeah. we need to eat from there? Oh, you can well, only choose three Yeah, now. when you come to the rooster, <laughs> you have to have. I think a fun way to start is always with a cornbread and some deviled eggs. It's That's comfort my food. It's easy. You can have a drink. You should definitely have um, a, a cocktail. Sit in the bar and maybe start off with a brown stoner or bourbon for a drink. And then um, I love uh, if, if, for example, the shrimp and, and grits are super, super delicious. It's something that is so comforting. And you got to have the yard bird. This is true. And our last question is, we know that the Sobe Festival is coming yeah. up. Why do you love participating in that and just attending as well? And how important yeah. is that? Well, I mean, Sobe is one of the, the festivals that really started the great festivals, right? You have Aspen, you have South Beach, and as a chef, it's such a privilege. But also to be able to see your chef friends. You know, I'm going to be able to see, hang out with, you know, Bobby and, and Alex and my friend Scott. People that, you know, we work together, but we don't really have time to right. hang out. And that's the time when we get together. And also... I go over to Overtown uh, and other parts of town and be able to do cooking demos. And this year, actually, I make sure that my events are always in, in, in Overtown. So nice. I can be able to bring that South Beach audience over to another part of town that they may or may not have been to exactly. before. Exactly. Wow. Well, thank you so much for taking the time and making this incredible meal, which yeah. our readers are going to love. So you're you good. You got your, I've got my cocktail. You got your Valentine. Yes. And you got your scallops, which yes. is beautiful. Uh, you know, so I hope you're going to enjoy it. Oh, I will enjoy it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it was just an honor because I've enjoyed eating at your restaurant. So having you cook it right here oh, is fantastic. Good. Enjoy your Valentine's Thank Day. you so much. You too, Take Marcus. Care.